Hello, everybody. How's it going? Uh, yeah, so, so look, I, I'm just going to get right to it. Uh, so I got a, uh, I got some information, not information, but I got the news about the, uh, attacks in, uh, Israel. And I'm like, uh, oh, this is, this is my fault. It's my fault. Um, not, you know, not directly, but the, but the thing is, is because I'm, I'm, I'm working with Jesus and God and my great grandmother here. Well, we're, I think we're executing things, um, and things are moving along and right we're kind of inching closer to this apocalypse thing and well the thing is is that uh the devil's mad about it i mean the, this is all in the bible guys this you know this with these wars it, it, everyone's going to be attacking israel guys like and it started like today it's like uh uh oh i mean i honestly i didn't think this was going to happen i just figured this was going to happen a million years from now i mean me and my low self esteem world like i just assume that you know nobody uh nobody's listening nothing matters who cares i mean the devil did a great job of convincing me no one cares i mean but the problem is is uh turns out he cares and it turns out he cares a whole lot because uh because of what i'm doing here uh well he's he's out of here i mean he's going to be ousted from this planet thank goodness I know some people are upset about that, but I'm not. I'm I'm very very happy that the devil's going to be ousted, and but he's he's not happy about it either. So the thing is, is that we're going to see a lot of brattiness, a lot of brattiness. Okay, he's the, the the thing is a pain. Okay, but the thing is, is that his version of brattiness is starting wars for us. Like thanks, devil. You know what I mean? The things the thing is a pain. Okay, because it's it's acting out. It can't recognize its own fault in anything so it has to just well cause destruction you know as you do as as mature adults do right guys so uh so the thing with the devil is that well his time is short and i just shortened it yesterday with tyler's uh episode i didn't even check did, did youtube delete it yet probably i mean they love him they love the guy i'm sure so um so whatever but either way devil's not happy about it right so well okay so now what well the devil but it's good i mean okay here's the way i look at this guys with the attacks on israel a the jewish people kind of deserved it for what they for what they put me through okay because it was them it was the jewish people okay it was justice how dare i say that yeah i just did Okay, so that's A. And then B, well, we got to start. I'm just kidding, guys. Not every Jewish person uh, gaslit me, but, uh, well, I didn't hear any outreach to me in any way, shape, or form. So we're just going to stick with that. Okay, anyways. So, guys, I'm just kidding. You guys have never deserve it. I'm just, uh, guys, I'm joking, okay? Can we joke? Can we make light of this horrific situation? Oh my goodness, guys. You, you guys are such Nancy's. Did I did I tell you this? All right, whatever. Okay, look. Here's the thing. Is there's going to be a lot of this. Okay? But listen to this, guys. The devil is such a pain. Look, look. All right, let me let me float down to the grass for a second. How do you do this? There we go. Okay. So look. The the thing is is we're going to be seeing a lot of this stuff. The devil is he's going to throw a fit. But guys, it's good news. Because it's it, every time he does something, it's like, oh, good, he's mad at me. Oh, good, that means it's working. That means what I'm doing is functioning, it's working, and I'm doing it correctly. Okay, so it's a good thing. It's just, it's just in the short term, it's going to be kind of frightening. Okay, but the thing is, is that just think about this, guys. All the people that died today, wh where do you think they are right now? R hanging out in heaven. But guys... I would kill for a terrorist attack here right now. So I died and then I went to heaven. You see what I'm saying? So let's stop being sad and then let's just let's just be happy that they're in heaven now and we to pray for a terrorist attack, honestly. Okay, because every time a terrorist attack happens, we get closer to you know this he heaven on earth in a real way where there will never be another terrorist attack. Um so 
it's it's like growing pain or birth pains. Uh, my my great grandmother said it, it, Jesus called it that as well. Birth pains. It's just we got to deal with it. And yes, did the attacks today on Israel have a whole lot to do with the fact that I uploaded that video yesterday? You betcha it did. Okay. And normally I don't take. I mean, normally it would it would be uh, the the words of a extraordinary narcissist to uh for that for that for for someone to be that delusional but um i mean i i'm just looking at the evidence here and it's it was obviously the devil being furious uh that tyler got caught that tyler got exposed cuz tyler is the devil's favorite guy <laughs> like so the so tyler getting exposed the the devil uh not happy about it sorry about that uh you, you know what i mean so so let let's here's what we do okay we just wait and pray that two things wait be patient and pray okay i just took a cold shower for all the victims today okay i mean look i that's the best i can do guys okay and i'll and i'll give up some some something i like for food or whatever i you know what i mean i'll, I'll do it you do it too you guys do it too all right, for the victims and the people that got hurt so that, you know, they maybe can get some extra grace if they need it and then and they can get let into heaven if they're not ready for it or whatever, okay? We, we got to work. Uh, we gotta, what we got to do is kind of like think of things in that way now. It's that we got to help the people who have been victimized by the devil's, you know, immaturity and childishness. Okay, because the devil, I'm telling you guys, that thing is out of here, and it knows it. And uh, well, today it let us know how angry it is, and how good is that? It exposed itself, right? It it it's right, and so in that very action today, we know two things. One is the devil is scared. That's a, and then b, he's almost out of here, because. If if he was confident in his plan, right, of uh, stopping me from doing this, if if he was sure that he was going to win and and stop me from from talking and doing a podcast and everything, if he was sure that he was he was going to be successful, would he be uh, giving me the the uh, indication that uh, he's angry? Oh, absolutely not. No, he wouldn't. Why would he want that? Right? Because narcissists love it. They, their their thing is do not let anyone know how you're feeling right do do it right Tyler is is uh he's an expert at this right don't let anybody in on your true feelings and they're with this with the strategy they're they're able to uh gather information on you because they pretend to be the nicest people to your face. So they find weak people or perceived to be weak people. Um, and uh, sorry about this microphone, guys. It keeps uh, knocking out. We know why. Oh, we know why. It's that devil. Oh, of course. That thing is a pain, guys. All right, whatever. All right. Okay. So anyway, you just got to hit it. That's what I realized. You just hit the microphone and it fixes it. I, it's bizarre. I don't know. Whatever. But look. Okay. So so the thing is, all right. I'll, I'll keep it short, guys, because this microphone's kind of going all over the place. But here's the thing: is that expect this stuff. Expect all this the attacks. Okay. The devil is frightened, right? So this is what he does. Okay. And before you know it, guys, this whole planet will be ours. And uh, the devil will be out of here, and so will all of his people, right? Tyler, I hope you do. I hope you were embarrassed enough, okay, to so you feel shame and that you want to change, but something tells me you're not going to. And Tyler, to be honest with you, it doesn't matter to me either way. All right, if you want to join heaven, if great, but if you don't, then Tyler, then see ya. Like, I don't know what to tell you, Tyler. But your buddy, the devil, is causing wars now, trying to start wars, Tyler. So, um, I mean, uh, what do we, I mean, okay. I mean, you, you still want to support the devil, Tyler? Or, uh, 
Uh, okay, okay, that's fine. Whatever. Um, okay, so, but Tyler, look, um, you know, I just want to say thanks. I mean, you, we, we should all say, I mean, in all honesty, like, you know, thank you to Tyler because he, because of his actions, he exposed the devil now and now the devil's cornered and then now, well, we can start making some headway on uh, clearing this planet, you know, of, of all evil. I mean, that's nice. That's awesome. Okay? And by the devil's action today. So it was actually a super positive thing. I mean, I, it, it, I, I mean, not super. I mean, the, the, the attacks in Israel today, not super positive, but pot, like it, it's in the, in the long run, it, it is a step in the right direction. Good. And I can only hope that I, I am in a terrorist attack one day. I know it's a weird bar to set for yourself, a weird goal, but I mean, I, I am kind of excited to leave this planet. I don't think nothing seems to be happening for me. So terror, I mean, terrorists, let's get those, uh, let's get those backpacks. Let, let's get those vests. Uh, let's, let's come on over to 359 Lakeview way. I'll be here waiting. All right. You, you and your, the, the, the easy shots guys, these cowards, like the, they're just, like they just surprise you with a bomb. Like what cowards, guys? Who does that? Oh, uh, the devil, Jeff. That's right. That's right. So, what? I I don't get what. Why do we? I okay. I'm not trying to get. Okay, never mind. This is not the conversation. I was gonna ask like why, wh why, wh what? Okay, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. All right, Rana is gonna get mad. She's gonna she's gonna try to strangle me with her towel. All right, look. Never mind. Just not. Never mind. Okay. Guys, we're we're let, let's. I just wanted to say this, okay? This is a good thing, even though it seems like a bad thing. It's a step in the right direction. Israel is going to be attacked. I mean, that's what's going to happen in the apocalypse. That's exactly what I mean. Essentially, guys, this is the beginning of the apocalypse, uh, and the tribulation period and all that stuff. So, uh, well, I mean, I don't, I don't know what to expect, but what I can tell you is that we'll be safe. You just got to be with God, be with Jesus, start praying guys, because it's, it is going to get worse. I, I'm, I don't mean to be, I don't mean to freak you out, but it will get worse. Um, you know, people are mad about uh, the devil's mad. N not, it's, I'm not saying that the people know about me over there and they're like, oh, I'm mad at Jeff and talking about Tyler, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send a bomb over to Israel. No, no, no. It's the devil's mad about it, and he's and he's uh, working with the Palestinians over there to do a surprise bomb attack, just like a real hero, right? Just like a real uh, war hero. Surprise bomb attacks. Right there, Palestine. Okay, whatever. Uh-oh. Oh, good. A terrorist. Hello, sir. Oh, wait. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's right. It's creative mode. Okay, he doesn't want to... Okay, buddy. See, Palestinians, can you do that? Instead of exploding while, pe while people who are trying to do good are close to you, just say, you know, right? Just, just do that. Just do what this guy's doing. He's just walking right by me, minding his own business. Okay. All right, whatever. That was really good timing. Thank you, Jesus. That was a good joke. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, okay. So, anyways. Um, yeah. All right, guys. So, feel good about this. I mean, don't. But do. But also do at the same time. But don't. Feel. No, feel. Like you know, mourn, obviously, and, and we say sorry to, to the families. I mean, it's, it's terrible, but even the families would be like, okay, well, you know what? I'm kind of honored that, you know, I mean, my goodness, I mean, we're trying to get heaven on earth. Jesus chose my relative, friend, whatever, to be in this terrorist attack. That's some suffering that is required to bring heaven to earth. It's a sort of an honor to be chosen to sort of have be a uh, a part of it by even being within it being being a part of a tragedy you know what i mean it's it's it all guys it all matters you won't you don't it doesn't seem like it does now 
what it does in the uh, uh, up there when we die in, in the higher dimensions and we go to heaven and stuff. That's when this kind of stuff really matters. You know, all the sacrificing you do, all the right, everything you've given up, like the the um, all the nice things you've done for others. Uh, and you know, see, it's just we we don't really get rewarded for it on Earth right now because the devil is here. So unless you're you know doing something heinous. You're not really going to get, like, you get rewarded for doing stu heinous stuff by the devil, but you don't get rewarded for doing good stuff. That's kind of why, you know, we have that saying, you know, nice guys finish last. It's because the devil's here. That's the reason. Um, so, again, let's, let's let all these maniacs do what maniacs do, okay? And, it's, you know, and, and surprise bomb attacks and all the, you know, cowardly garbage that they're doing over there, Okay. So let's, and by the way, uh, hey, Palestine, do, I mean, we believe in God, right? That's why we're doing all this stuff. Okay, what do you think God's opinion on, like, surprise bomb attacks are? What, what is, what, what do you think it is? Just, what do you think? Just rough guess. Okay, crickets, okay. Okay, right, guys. Okay, because turns out God wants his, all people alive. It doesn't matter if they're Muslim or not. God wants people to stay alive on this planet, Palestine. It, it doesn't matter if they're Jewish or not. It doesn't matter how big their noses are. You don't just ex you don't just surprise bomb somebody for no reason. Oh no, there is a reason, Jeff. We want their land. Oh, sorry. That's okay. You're right. That is a good reason. Perfectly valid. Sorry about that. My mistake. I'll restart the podcast. <laughs> All right. That that's okay. Sorry. Uh. Anyways. So okay, Jeff. They're gonna do it again. Stop being mean to them. I no. They need to hear this stuff. They they think they're going to heaven for doing this stuff. They think they're going to get seventy two virgins. And I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm just thinking about it. it's very very one sided because it's like the men are happy about it, the seventy two virgins, but the women are not happy about that because it's just a bunch of seven seventy two computer nerds with big coke bottle glasses up in heaven. That's what the women get. So that's the thing. Like, is you you Muslims are not. It's that doesn't sound like heaven on earth to me or heaven at all. Bunch of nerd, 72 nerdy guys who don't know how to talk to women. Like, that's what you get up in heaven. Women. Okay, so let's... So on earth, okay? Okay, so what we got to do on earth is make it so your boyfriend stop, stop surprise uh, bombing uh, Israel. Like, is that... Can we do that or, like, not? Nah. Like, can, can we... Here, here's what we do. Let's take our towels off our heads and then wrap it around... Let's, like, put a blindfold on her husband so they don't know where to go. Or, like, they'll send out bombs, but hopefully it'll just, you know, hit the ocean or something. <laughs> is that is that not a solution, or am I making things worse? Uh, probably. It's probably something along those lines. Guys, look, here's the thing. Is that, you know what, the... The thing with Muslims is that the you, your, 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 uh, your prophet, Muhammad, right... Uh, he, first of all, stop naming your kids after the guy. He, the guy was an, it was a world-class jerk. Okay. Everyone's name is Muhammad named after this guy. Why? Why? What did he do? What did he do? Well, Jeff, he killed a bunch of people and then he's, he claimed that he was doing it in the name of God. Obviously, Jeff, don't you know that? I know, but guys, if you're killing people in the name of God, isn't that kind of an oxymoron? Like I'm killing somebody because of God. Like, uh, yeah, but. The person you're killing, God put on the planet. So why would God want you to kill what He put on the planet? Like God doesn't even want me to kill ants anymore, guys. I had, I, I pick up ants with a piece of paper. Like I have them walk, I put it down, and then they walk onto it, and then I bring it outside. I used to never do that. I don't even want to kill octopuses in Minecraft. Okay. It's a fake animal, digital algorithm, and I don't want to kill it. Okay? So why is Muhammad so... Uh, wh why is he worshipped? I guess that's my question. Um, and I'm not saying he's a false prophet. I'm saying he's a charlatan. I, I know you thought it was going to be nice to him. No, I'm not saying he's, he's not even... It doesn't even deserve false prophet. He's just a charlatan, and he's a he's a, 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 a an assistant of the devil. He was on Earth here, and guess what he wants? Guess, guess what? Guess what the devil wants, guys? He wants you to be as far away from Jesus as possible. He wants you to be he'll he'll be okay with you being a part of a religion. You know, 
like uh like muslim or islam or whatever whatever <laughs> it doesn't doesn't matter they but either way i don't know is, is there a difference it's probably not it's just there's just i don't know all he knows is that there's too many you know suicide bombings and it, it doesn't matter muslim islam same thing too many suicide bombs either way uh you you so the thing is is the guy muhammad was a jerk all right and just because he says he's doing it in the name of god like i like you, you know what i mean that doesn't mean okay what is going on here guys i'll just pretend i didn't see that uh okay so anyways um so okay so he so okay so so muhammad right started this muslim religion i guess i don't know anything about it I, I, b believe me i i'm glad i don't but it, the, from what i sort of understand is muhammad was just sort of a he was just sort of a war monger like he just it, it, his solution was just always bomb them or kill them or conquer that like that's the solution it's like uh no it's not love is the solution that's the thing about islam and no offense there rana but you know what love is just not that's not the first answer for muslim it's violence that's always the first answer and uh i mean that's just not peace like it like rana is that peace yes or no w out of a religion where the first your your and like the answer to everything is always bomb them or call it violence or intimidate right we all we know all about intimidation we all know about that right okay so again there's no love there right okay so then that means there's something wrong with the muslim religion or islam all right and then look look at what they're doing over there in israel like surprise bomb attacks oh yeah that's brave surprise bomb attacks super brave so brave so brave i i mean it, i can't even i mean my goodness <laughs> I, it's like guys you how i mean look if, if you're gonna kill jewish people let's at least do another holocaust you know what i'm saying i mean at least i would have a little bit more respect for you not much but see it takes more organization you know what i mean like okay it's just, it's, I'm just saying like, the, I'm just saying that the surprise bomb attacks. You know, say what you will about Hitler, but I mean the guy was organized. Okay, I just I just feel like a surprise bomb attacks. It just doesn't. It's just a zero. You know, I, never mind. Okay, look. So. Okay, so I'm just kidding. Israel, I got Israel. It's, even Elon's mad at me. Elon's mad at me for that one. See, that's why, you know, I screwed up, but, but no, but okay. I think Dr. Drew is laughing, but I got it. But let's, let's just, let's not, let's not, let's just be nice to Jewish people. They're, they're sensitive right now. I'm just, okay. All right. All right. Cause you guys are kind of freaked out right now. You are because of this happening and like the way you treated me, you know, over, uh, the past four years. Right guys. So, uh, oh, <laughs> okay. So, uh, you know, look. I'm not, I'm not saying you guys have anything to worry about. You don't. God loves you. You are God's people. It's just, you know, I'm, you know, here I am, a Gentile, and Jesus picked me to, to do this. He didn't pick a Jewish person. Although, looking at my nose, you wouldn't uh, be able to tell I'm a Gentile. It, okay, but so it, that, I'm kind of in the middle there. I'm a nice hybrid between Gentile and Jewish person. Okay? But the only difference between me and the Jewish people is I put yeast in my bread. Okay, that's about it. That's about it. All right. So, anyways, um, all right. Let me, there we go. Let's hang out with the cows. Thank you. All right. So, see, look at this, guys. See, let me let me ask you, uh, Muslims. Look at these cows. Do you see any suicide vests on any of them? Are they are they trying to do surprise cow suicide attacks to other cows and and other farms? No, they're cows. What's up? Okay, they're cows, and they just cow around and they walk around and they bump into each other and they, they, their walking animation doesn't quite line up with the speed that they're going so it looks a little confusing but look guys okay they're able to live in peace why because they don't have they don't know how to put on suicide vests and suicide bombs and put and, and pressure cookers in their backpacks their cow backpack nobody's doing that 
Okay, it's a farm and the animals are nice. They're being nice to each other, even to other farms where the cows are a different color. Okay? No suicide bombs, right? And whoever they pray to, whoever cow deity they pray to, okay? Doesn't matter. Let's keep them alive. How about that? Okay? And uh, hey guys, why the heck do you want land in Israel? I'm sorry, I've seen the place. It looks like a desert. What? Why do you want? I don't know. No one knows. No one knows. I don't know. I don't get it. It doesn't matter. All right, look. Here's the thing: is that I just want, I just want peace out there, and Rana and her stupid towel and her passive, like, her, her passive support of this. All right, like, you know what I mean? It's like Rana doesn't get mad enough at this stuff. Like she doesn't. Like she just goes. Oh, shoot, the Jewish people got blown up. Oh, well. Like, and then meanwhile, she would be outraged if, if any, anyone ever attacked a Muslim. It's like, hey, uh, Rana, it's like a two-way street. There's nothing There's nothing special about Muslims. I, all I know is that they're irritable and angry and they're violent. That's all I know about Muslims. And then, and then the poor women get gypped when they go to heaven. 20, 72 virgin guys. That's, that's, that's that really... It's a bummer. It's a super bummer. All right, so, oh, look at this guy. Oh, he's mad. He's mad. Look at this. He's watching over all the cows. Hey, bud. This guy's a unibrow. Nice. Hello, sir. Okay. Oh, he's mad. I didn't mean to hit him. Sorry, buddy. Oh, now he thinks I'm a Muslim. I'm going to have to run away. Oh, shoot. Oh, I'm just, hey, Jeff, that was low. Muslims are people too. Yes, they are, but they also, you know, fly planes into buildings. Okay, so they're people too, and they're my brothers and sisters, but they fly planes into buildings. So, I mean, I don't know. I mean, that, that, does that mean I have to send them a Christmas card? Oh, wait, that was or, or a Ramadan card. <laughs> Sorry, that was like Christmas. Sorry, guys. Uh. <laughs> I don't know. Do they make Ramadan cards? No, Jeff. That would be showing too much love. The Muslims don't understand that. You're right. <laughs> All right. Anyways. Uh, okay. So. Yeah, guys. I don't know. Am I gonna? Rafael. I know Rafael is nervous. Like Jeff, stop saying stuff. Cause you know, I you know the property you're in. Like I get it. It's a piece of trash, but I don't want it to be a smoldering pile of rubble. All right, because of something you're saying to Muslim. All right, look, guys. Rafael, I'll I'll I'll, I'll put this to bed. All right, we'll move on very quickly. Okay. But uh, look. Okay. So all I'm saying is, guys, expect this. Okay. Cause no offense, Rana, and your your friends and everything but you there you're with the devil okay muslims if you're a muslim you're with the devil you you are not with jesus and you are not with god okay especially i'm not saying there's not good muslims out there but what i'm saying is is uh the people doing the uh suicide bombing we don't hear a lot of like there's not a lot of protesting like like remember when you know, you like everyone like falsely accused like uh, what's that guy the, the, the Brett Kavanaugh of raping somebody like you, you falsely accused that. That's what I mean. I mean, that's what I was laughing about. Uh, you know, my mom working with YouTube and Google to uh, censor my right because Jeff, we can't prove that Rafaela rapes her children. But but uh, and Rafael, I'll stop. I'll stop. I'll stop. Okay, sorry. Okay, but but the attitude of that was. Jeff, we can't prove it, so um, you know, we're not gonna allow you to say this on our platform. Um, okay, but what about Brett Kavanaugh? You guys aired that. You guys re-aired that. You guys had uh, you know, a after show, you know, like a a analysis, your pre-show analysis of of the Brett Kavanaugh thing, is in him trying to become a uh, Supreme Court justice, right? All the analysis all the analysis all the shows all of the wasted time all right because of this one woman who made it up it turns out some ford ballsy ford ball sack ford or what was her name sorry did I, okay sorry it's for children sorry it's a game okay sorry anyways guys so look you guys aired that and there was no proof it was nothing it was zero right she made it up it turns out uh, but you guys with me whoa jeff uh you better be careful with the the, the accusations um, but, but the thing is though, guys, is that, you know, you, you, we seem to want to 
always uh, YouTube always seems to err in the in the in the direction of defend the devil and whatever he wants you to believe. You know what I mean? I don't what is that? I don't know what that is. And I feel like with the Muslims, he wants everyone to believe the lie that they're a loving people. They're not. They're not a loving people. That's not it's not what they they're loving to each other, but they're not loving to me, a white guy who's a Christian. You, you know what I mean? Like, they're not so loving to me. You know how I can prove that? Hey, Rana, didn't you try? Who, who tried to get me fired because of something I said? And who's been right? I was nothing but nice to Rana. And what does she do? I thought she, I was her friend, to be totally honest with you. But because I'm a white guy who's a Christian, the devil convinced Rana that I deserved to be fired. And she, well, agreed with the devil and worked with whoever to, right? So you see what I'm saying? If Rana was, was with God and truly with God and was loving, as loving as she claims to be, that would not have happened. You know what I'm saying? She would have said, no, Rana, Brenna, Leslie and Rana and Rana and R Brenna and Rana. Okay, whatever. Rana and Rana and Rana and Brana. Okay, whatever. Ugh. All right, so the, the, I'm not going to work with you guys. Like Rana, Rana and Rana, they're saying, she, I'm not going to work with Leslie and, and Brenna to try to get Jeff fired. This is like a tongue twister. Um, <laughs> it shouldn't be, but I turned it into one. Uh, but, so Rana should have said, no, Jeff is way too nice to me. He brought in all his recording equipment to record me do some some spot, some commercial spot or whatever, Rana. I don't know what I recorded you doing, but uh, Jeff recorded me and I'm going to be nice to him and not get him fired. But because Rana, right, I'm a white guy who's a Christian, I deserve to get fired. Yes. Yes, Jeff, precisely, Rana. Okay, Rana, thank you. Okay. Um, I just want to apologize to Rena's towel right now because he's probably sweating on her head. You know, it's, sorry, towel. All right, but look, Rana, I still love you, okay? It doesn't matter how soaked your towel is right now or not. It's poor Rana, all the forehead sweat on the towel. I know, all right? Rana, if you want to stop by, uh, I got... We can we can throw it in the dryer. My, it just... Okay, uh, there was no need to take it that far, guys. It stopped being funny. All right, whatever. So, look. All right, I... Here's what I want is I want a little bit of acknowledgement that Muslims, uh, they're just not, they're just not to the same degree of love. They don't have the same degree of loving those that are not like them, that uh, people who, who are Christian do. Right? I feel like Muslims, no offense, and Islam is a little bit backwards, a little bit archaic a little bit i mean like we're, we're i mean progressives we're talking to pr progressives out there all the all the left-leaning people out there um you guys like um you know you 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 want love you want a society full of it just like john lennon was talking about right Okay, but you don't want God, though. And then the thing is, is so the the only answer to a forced loving planet is a bunch of violence. All right, so that's why I feel like you sympathize with the Muslims, because they're not scared to be violent, and you guys like that violence. Why? Because, well, you get to impose your power on others and intimidate and force, right? We love that, because it's easy. Right? Okay. Loving is hard. It's hard. It's the hardest thing we do because it's like, it's so anti-human nature. It, it, it eventually comes easily, but you have to work for it. And you got to be with Jesus. If you're with Muhammad, all he's going to tell you to do is go buy a backpack and a pressure cooker. If you want to, you know, create this world of love, it's like, uh, that's not love. I'm sorry. Like, I, 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 I is that, am I, hey guys, am I off base? Like, I'm just imagining Rana going, well, Jeff, it depends. I mean, I, you know, 
It depends on if, uh, you know, you deserve to be fired or not. Okay, Rana, thanks. Thanks, Rana, again, for that, for the analysis there, Rana. All right, whatever. Okay, uh, yeah, guys, I don't want to talk about this anymore because, again, you know, I need to live in this house. I don't want to, I don't want to come back one day and see it, 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 it collapse, like, on fire. Well, no, that won't happen because they would, they would, they would, they would, you know, throw a bomb at the place while I was in there. So, okay, so I can only hope for that. But if it doesn't happen, I'll be okay. I'll get over it. But I mean, it's it's okay. See now, you know what you know what it is. See now, now the fact that I say this stuff, it's like now the devil is gonna double down. You know what I mean? So I gotta be careful. I know I gotta be careful. All right, all right, all right. I'm done. All right, let's just cut it short. I'm done with this podcast. All right, guys. Um, so I just wanted to. It's 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 a good thing what what happened, even though it is a bad thing. What happened today in Israel? It, it's by the book. It's uh, God told us this was going to happen. It's all in the Bible. All right. The end days, everybody. Uh, we're here. Uh, we're, we're in them. Uh, sorry. I'm sorry that you're alive for this. But how cool is that? We're all really lucky to be alive during this time. Believe it or not. It's the most exciting. I mean, I don't want to say exciting in a good way, but it's a, it's a, it's a, um, well, it's it's something to look forward to and and a, a true hope. So if you want to know the truth, guys, what happened today was actually the biggest beacon of hope you could possibly have, especially for someone like me, who's been living in well, uh, you know, a vacuum of informa both information, love, you know, other people, I, I communication. I have no idea what's going on out there. So. I make that video about Tyler yesterday, and then what are the odds the very next day the devil, uh, we begin the apocalypse? W what are the odds? I mean, this that's step one of the apocalypse, what happened today, guys, believe it or not. So that's good news, okay? Because God's coming back. Jesus is coming back here, guys. I'm just here to set up the place and let you guys know what my great-grandmother expects and what Jesus expects when this new world uh, actually shows up. And, uh, you know, again, we won't get everybody. You know, there's a lot of people who want nothing to do with this. I don't, I mean, I, I yeah, I mean, I, I can understand that, but it's just, it's just not a mature, um, it's just, it's not a mature, uh, what, what's the word? It's, it's not, it's, it's short-sighted. It's, it's not mature and it's very short-sighted to, to be like, oh, I don't want to do this. Yeah, I know. I don't want to do it either. I don't want to do all the rules. I want to get, I don't, not that, not, not that I want to get left alone. I love Jesus. I love my great-grandmother. But there are times when it's like I would rather just do what I want to do all day instead of having to pray every two seconds to make sure that I'm doing exactly what they want me to do. Of course, you know, if I didn't do that, then we wouldn't be here, but... We are here, so good. You're welcome for doing everything perfectly and being a puppet and just sitting here and waiting for direction. It's 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 exhausting, guys. But I'm doing it for you guys, and we're succeeding, all right? Even though it doesn't feel like it. We're succeeding. The devil's mad. That's a good thing. All right, but people are going to be the victims of his attacks, unfortunately. And I'm sorry to the Jewish people because I love you guys. Even, you know, your unleavened bread. I mean, I, I'll forgive you for that. But um, Jewish people, they're awesome. All right. And uh, even Elon, I love the guy. All right. I'm going to trash him, though. Well, no, I'm not. But Elon, I just, I, no, I'm not going to trash him. But I will say, Elon, had you treated me differently, God probably would have stopped this this attack. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not saying it's your fault, Elon, but it also might not not be your fault. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I know I said it was my fault, but you know God's the one in charge. Like he can he can make um, anybody put on a suicide vest or not. He can have somebody take it off. If it, God can kind of do anything, but he's he allowed this attack, Elon, and uh, I mean, okay, I. You know, I, I'm I'm not blaming it on anybody, but if there is someone to blame it on, it, it is Elon, okay? Uh, and it's okay, all right? Elon, I'm sure, has no feelings for it. Uh, I'm sure he has, right? But it's okay. It's okay. 
Okay, Elon. And I'm not, we're going to leave it here because I'm not, I know it's poor Elon. Poor Elon. I know. You know now I'm going to end the episode. But Elon, I'll, I'll probably come back and do another one. Let me, let me just get this up there because I really want people to hear this because it's positive. And uh, we are going to, well, we're going to see God in action here, guys. Just stay close to Jesus. Ask my mom for the books. Okay, figure out how to get as close to Jesus as you possibly can. Figure out how to get as close to my great-grandmother as you possibly can. And that is your only ticket through this this period of time. Is to be as close to Jesus as possible and just kind of do trying to like, doing what I'm doing, which is trying to well do the right thing and always um, you know it, 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 at least do your best to do God's will, your your will, and 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 be obedient and all that all that stuff. It's hard at times, guys. Okay, but you'll do it. You'll succeed. I know you will. I believe in you. All right, everybody. Um, I will see you later.